Hey everybody, it's Cole. It is a rainy night, sitting in my room, and uh, for the past couple nights I've been tossing and turning. One thought in my mind, the world needs to know how I feel about soft drink beverages. Everyone's been doing tier lists, figured I would do one as well. Let's take a look at what we've picked out for today. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. Here in front of me, I have laid out uh, a number of brands that um, I have tried and are readily available in my region. Uh, today we're just going to be putting them together and talking about exactly how uh, I rank the sodas. Uh, we're going to start off with Dublin. The way I've kind of laid this out is um, by brand name. So I'm holding Dublin Vanilla Cream, but I intend to talk about Dublin as a whole. Uh, and Dublin, I think it's S tier. I'm a big fan of bottled sodas, as you'll probably see down the line here as well. I think that there's a very clear difference between other cream sodas I've tried and sodas like Dublin's uh, or IBC, who we can also go ahead and put into S tier. Canned and and plastic bottled sodas just aren't aren't that good. They're loaded up with a bunch of preservatives and sugars and stuff. And I mean, I know it's all soda in general. You got your syrups and your sugars and stuff in there, but there just seems to be a very clear difference to me between mainly bottled brands and canned brands in flavor and the amount of time and effort put into making these drinks. Another one that we can put up in the S tier is uh, Haritos. I hope I pronounced that right. They're fucking fantastic. Uh, namely the Fruit Punch soda, that would be my favorite. It's got this very unique flavor. There, there already, I feel like there's not a lot of like big Fruit Punch brand sodas. It's a very different spin on it, uh, and I like it very much. An ice cold Haritos could just save an afternoon, essentially. All right, we're also gonna grab a Frosty, drop it in there. The image I've got is Blue Cream, again. Uh, Frosty makes a number of very good sodas, all these guys do. Uh, Frosty and Dublin both also have uh, two of the best grape sodas that I've ever had. Grape is very important to me. We're going to take a step down and talk about the A tier sodas now. So I'm going to go ahead and drop in, uh, we got Sprite. Sprite is up there in the A tier. Sprite has always been a huge favorite of mine. I mean, I love lemon lime sodas. I grew up drinking a lot of Sprite and 7-Up. Uh, and and the, the champion in the end for me turned out to be the, the Sprite. There is nothing more satisfying or or cooling in the summertime than pulling up to McDonald's and ordering a french fry, maybe a Big Mac, will you? And that that ice cold Sprite. There's some kind of science that says soda that comes out of a machine, you know, a, a soft drink machine is going to be some of the best soda you've ever had. Another brand that we can drop up there is uh, Sunkist. They make a number of great sodas, namely their um, their orange and their grape. I'm going to also grab um, grab Barks and mug root beer and drop those up in the A tier as well. Uh, I'm a huge root beer fan. I, I do love a good root beer on a, on a hot summer day. You know, root beer floats. a and I'm going to drop you in the B tier. I mean, it's not bad. a and is not bad at all. I, I still love a and but it's just not up there with mug and barks for me anymore. I'm going to also drop uh, Crush and Fanta in there with them as well. Crush has always been kind of a second hand, kind of a, kind of a, kind of a roadie to Sunkist, if you will. Crush has always kind of just been kind of like, you know, riding the coattails. And Fanta's my, Fanta's more of a disappointment because Fanta was up there. Uh, Fanta, Fanta, however you will pronounce it, don't really give a shit. Fanta was up there for me uh, for quite a while um, when I was younger and it just is not the same. There's something in the recipe has changed, you know, which is fine. It's still very good, still enjoy it. I'm gonna put Dr. Pepper in the B tier as well. I like Dr. Pepper, uh, but it's not my go-to choice. You know, I mean like if someone offers me a Dr. Pepper, if it's the only thing there, uh, I'll drink it. But it, as a go-to choice, I tend to usually go with something a little more on like the lemon lime, uh, fruity, root beer side of things. One of my A tiers would likely be a choice before Dr. Pepper. Mr. Pib, I'm gonna put on C tier. Not because it tastes any different, but because I hate the can. I think Pib looks fucking awful. I hate their design. I hate the name, Pib Extra. I've never seen Pib not extra before in the wild, so I don't know exactly why th they chose the extra name. I think it's a little extra if you ask me. Speaking of glass bottles also, we've got Fago on here. Fago's not good. Uh, their cream soda is one of the worst I've had in my life. E tier. On that C tier with Pib, I'm gonna go ahead and drop in Pepsi. Not a cola fan myself. I don't really reach for 
for a cola. Um, and, and I'll tell you why. I understand that soda in general is bad for you. It's bad for your teeth. It's corrosive, all those things. But no drink has ever felt more corrosive than a cola. I will drink a cola and my teeth will feel like like when you drop a sugar cube in, in, a, in a cup of tea and you watch it melt, that's how my teeth feel. They just feel like they're grinding away after I have a, a Coke or a Pepsi. It's just this disgusting feeling in my mouth. I can't stand it, it's, it's gross. Again, if I'm offered a Pepsi, I'll drink a Pepsi. Coca-Cola, however, is gonna have to go D. I'm sorry for all the Coke fans that might be subscribed to me. If you want to unsubscribe, if you want to dislike this video, go ahead right now. All, all I can tell you is there will be more Pepsi uh, going forward. I don't like Coke. There's something almost too sugary, too sweet about it. It's like you have the Coke and the Pepsi formulas, and they put a little bit more of something in Coke that just makes it taste like... It just tastes like iron and piss, basically. On that same level, I'm gonna go ahead and drop 7-Up and Sierra Mist in there. Sierra Mist, we don't really gotta talk about. It's just trash. 7-Up is, is a disappointment for me because at one point it was up there with Sprite. Back when they had the old recipe and there was this new crisp flavor that showed up uh, and just ruined everything. Uh, now I cannot stand the taste of a 7-Up. Biggest disappointment, honestly. Mountain Dew. It's gonna go in the E tier with Fago. It's not good. Mountain Dew's not good. I get that same tooth decay feeling that my mouth is just being torn apart and melted from the inside, except it doesn't even taste good. I'm gonna take Big Red and uh, I'm gonna put it on the D tier list here with um, the 7-Up and all those. I mean, Big Red, it's just not for me. It's just too syrupy. That, that goes for Big Blue as well. It just doesn't, I mean, it tastes like, I feel like I'm drinking melted plastic. I mean, it's not bad. Obviously, I'll accept a big red if I'm out in public and there's a gun to my head or something, but I tend to stay away from it. Uh, so now at the bottom, you'll notice we have a couple additions here. Pepsi redeems itself with uh, Crystal Pepsi. So that's actually going to go a level above Pepsi into the B tier. I remember my first Crystal Pepsi was uh, about senior year. My buddy Juan told me about it, told me they were back. We went to Walmart to check them out. Uh, and it was a very fun experience. And um, we got Mountain Dew Baja Blast actually gets its own tier. Perfect. And just ignore that extra Fago bottle down there. I accidentally put a second one in and I couldn't figure out how to delete it. Minor revision here as well. Uh, it's been requested that I um, give my opinion on uh, ginger ale. Um, this doesn't count as soda. Ginger Ale is almost as bad as Baja Blast. It goes in the E tier. I don't know how you people drink that for enjoyment. I might as well just put a handful of nickels in my mouth. So there we go. There is my uh, soda tier list. As you can tell, I'm very partial to sodas that come in glass bottles. I feel like there is um, there's just this essence of, of quality to them that you don't find uh, in other canned sodas or plastic bottled beverages i think it's just maybe it's the glass maybe maybe you know the cans and the plastics have have biodegradables just melting into the drinks or something that are going to give us cancer respond to this video if you've got a tier list that you want to do maybe you want to rebuke this uh say no you're an idiot here's what i think is good do it tag me in it um maybe i maybe i'll fight back who knows maybe we could have a little a little youtube flame war if if you will. Um, but yeah, that's my soda tier list. So tell me what you guys think of that, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Also, go watch my latest video. Uh, it's, I put a lot of work into it. I really want to try and do some weekly uploads this summer as much as I can, uh, but there's no point if you fuckers don't watch the, the content. So go give it a view. Love you. Mr. Simon, bring me a dream. Bum, 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 bum. Make him the cutest that I've ever seen bum, 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 bum. Give him two lips like roses and clover bum, 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 bum. Then tell him that his lonesome nights are over Coca-Cola is gonna have to go deep ah!